we're out of hot springs officially. What a great stay. Oh, fabulous. I mean, it was a, it was nice to drop anchor for seven days, oh, get so a lot nice. of things done, fix leaks. Twice. Yeah, you might say, Stan, what did you have to fix? Well, when you hit cold weather, something Grand Design does is they mix flex hose with PEX and use and uses the clamps, the same clamps they use on PEX on the flex. And so right where the flex hose is, that's where everything's leaking. So if you guys have a leak, check your flex hoses. So out of Hot Springs, um, highlights for me in this area with Wind Cave National Park for sure. And actually we're gonna get to go through it one more time just on our way to Custer State Park. We are staying in Custer State Park. How exciting is yeah. that? kind of surreal because we've heard of these places for all our lives and and I've had the actual South Dakota tourism book you can order that for free they'll send it out to you it's a whole book a whole catalog and uh, a map of the whole area and all kinds of things to do and you can start mapping out your vacation so here's a great tip don't come to this area until May 1st <laughs> It just seemed like the weather just clicks. Yeah. And it's been, we've been having some really nice weather. Um, absolutely the latter part of April, 1st of May. Uh, of course, we were there a week, but the weather has just changed dramatically since May 1st. Right. And then everything doesn't open up until really, the season doesn't really start until May 15th. So. Right. Well, May 1st is when we can get into Custer. And I think the more north you go in, into the state, it's, it's like later and later and later. And so our big surprise, what we wanted to share is we are going to go up to North Dakota. And we're going to go to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. And speaking of not opening up, that opens up most everything there I think was May 15th so we're gonna plan on doing that we're gonna stay in this area Spearfish we've told you and then we're gonna head up there is that the wind cave we got to go get a picture of the wind cave National Park sign get out and do a selfie oh we could yeah let's do it we're here all right we're gonna go get a selfie <laughs> are watering. Anybody else? I can't look into the sun. My eyes are so sensitive. Okay, you gotta go get your blankie. You wanna stay up there? We already see bison. One on the right. We're right in the Wind Cave National Park. And you know, Stan always says they have the token bison. So we saw him already, but look at this guy. We're gonna go by real slow. Malls is gonna lose her mind. You gonna lose your mind? Credit cards only. 
temporary is valid for one to seven days. That's perfect. Go. So you paid 20 bucks? Woohoo! $20. So before we stop at the campground, we gotta stop here and pay. That's all right. Display on the dashboard this side up. Check-in was 12 o'clock and it is 12.11. So we're checking in to BB28E. Great, okay. Yeah, this looks great. Oh my gosh, this is really, really awesome. All right, go Pat, driver, driver, driver. Lots of driver. Oh, watch your front end there with the tree. Are you clear? Yep. Holy Toledo. You can you could hug you could hug this right here you know better better to hug that than uh we got so much space this is so awesome keep her coming keep her coming that's beautiful keep coming straight back just like that go a little more driver driver driver's cart starting to kick to the it's starting to kick a little bit but just a little bit right there that's good keep coming and stop let's stop right there i think that's nice slide is good stairs are great let's check it out we'll see if we're level look at that signs of wildlife already oh watch where you step we're very unlevel so we're trying this go Stop. Right there, stop. Check it out. So we're pretty level this way. Now the trick is to get it level this way. It's a little bit low in the front. Look at it. Stan's the master. You can make it happen. Okay, so we're all settled. Stan's bringing in the awning. Because we're gonna go to the wildlife loop trail we decided to go ahead and take advantage of this beautiful day. We think the animals are gonna be more active at dusk, so. That's what Ranger Rhonda said, <laughs> but we're gonna check it out and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Go get your chicken and a biscuit before you call all the wild animals to our campsite. Why don't you show them your Finagling here, what you had to do. No finagling, that's just what we had to do. See, always carry a board. Look, how many times have you seen that? Anderson leveling blocks on a board. Amazing. That's exceptional. It's a beauty. Yeah, we had to get it up there. So we have the most fantastic site. We have the best site in the house. Oh, this campground's so nice, you guys. Bell, no, Bluebell, Bluebell Campground. And then we have it lifted pretty high here. Poor little foot is missing still. Ugh. But. Well, we're good to go, man. Good to go. This is really nice. We will show you more, but we're right next to the tent area. A bunch of people just pulled in. They're gonna be tenting tonight. I don't, ooh, gonna be in the 20s, right? Like uh, 30s. 30s, low 30s? Yeah. Ooh, burr, I wouldn't want to do that. It's gonna be nice. <sighs> Let's go find some animals. Let's do it. Ranger Vonda. <laughs> We've got two Grand Design reflections in our loop, too. Whoop, whoop. So it makes three Grand Designs out of like five trailers. <laughs> grand Design for the win. You can fill up with water right behind that truck over there, too. Fresh water. Take horseback rides. 
but I'm allergic to horses. Oh, you shouldn't have said that. They got mad at you. I like to see that. Oh. See that? That's we'll go check that road out. We're gonna have to check that road out. I'm gonna run in and I'm gonna get a shirt that was on clearance. <laughs> 10 bucks, can't beat that. Or a Custer State Park shirt. So let's go get my shirt. We're just gonna point out the trails right behind them. guy how do you grow a beard like that an interview with bison excuse me sir where are you headed okay no comment how about you where are you headed look at that oh my gosh oh that is amazing look at this i'm just following him up the hill
last night it was about 29 degrees we are enjoying about 52 right now and the sun is different this high because like in big bear it's intense the heat and the sun the sun is intense yeah, yeah we um i think well the highest point in the park was that 6020 feet something like that where that lookout tower is but i so i'm guessing maybe this is about 5900 so it's in the mountains I didn't absolutely that. beautiful this morning the wild turkeys were out the uh, deer were out molly saw him and was driving her crazy she wanted to get out and get herself some turkey meat this <laughs> <laughs> um, just to reiterate, we're at Bell Bluebell. Bluebell Campground. We got to see some other campgrounds that were yeah. extraordinary. A little bit more on the highway, but we're, we're extraordinary. We did the wildlife loop, and you know what was the best thing? Is to see all the new baby bison calves. That's one neat thing about coming in the spring, is that you get to see the the babies and they were babies and there were a lot and just just so exciting to see how this wildlife here is thriving i would say this is almost like a wildlife preserve and uh, i think they're trying to bring back a lot of the bison and that's why there are so many i mean i think we saw more bison here than we did in yellowstone i think there's 1300 is is what the herd is here 1300 bison that's great. well they say there's a lot more in yellowstone but these this was just right up on the road you could yeah. reach out and touch them but if you want to see wildlife pronghorn white tail deer bison all the prairie dogs that you would want to see so it's all here. They're fun to watch. Those little prairie dogs. Yeah, they're little. We found out they live in communities too, and uh, so they and they protect each other and they warn you warn each other if you know there's a predator or something. It's pretty cute. So there is an audio tour that you can do, and you can get the app on your phone. Just download that, and then as you drive the wildlife loop, it'll automatically as you hit certain points. It's, it's strange because all of a sudden. <laughs> it'll scare you well, look over here you've got the bison and then all of a sudden you're driving look over here the prairie dogs and like, well, how does it do that gives you the uh, yeah the history on different things too so it's fun you know i like that kind of stuff as much as we can soak in and while we're here might as well so yesterday we took our mountain bikes on a horse trail yeah. which is not technically a horse trail anybody can be on it but you can't have any vehicles on it so we're out there in the wild looking at deer mm -hmm. and, and nobody is around. That's my kind of style. You know, I, I edge away from the tourist traps. Well, and if you like tourist traps, right here, part of Bluebell Campground and Lodge, there are horseback riding adventures. So you could do it, or you could do a chuck wagon. It's pretty fun. I don't know. I can't get him talked into it, but it's okay. I'm not really, you know, if we had kids, I think that would be a blast. If you have kids, you can do the chuck wagon, and then they have a whole, like, chuck wagon dinner afterwards, and they take you back into places to see the bison and uh, that cars can't technically go. I told Rhonda if the chuck wagon was pulled by a horse um, or a fleet of horses, I'd be on board. But because then you'll experience what it was like back in the 1800s. But they are uh, pulling it with trucks. and uh, a, But with horsepower. With horsepower. <laughs> and I... I and I, I could just, day horse to me, bike. I'm not in the mood. If I'm going to eat dust, let me eat dust on my mountain bike. I can do it on my own. The hot showers are great. Oh, you got to <laughs> tell them your little trick. So, <laughs> All right, so you know how I kind of like, I'm the kind of guy that kind of eye spies. So I discovered that the hot showers in the campground weren't on yet or not working yet. So they have a section where all the cabins are and there's nobody there. So went to check out the bathroom and the showers were working so good <laughs> free showers man we haven't had a long shower and since we left home three weeks ago almost three, three weeks, weeks ago yeah okay so yes we got it got cold um there's no water at the site just electricity so our water tanks are full if you come here empty water you can fit there's a place where you can fill up water but 
this coming in the spring when there's nobody around no it's not crowded honey we we have this is like a gold mine absolutely oh this my is, god this is like a gold mine sorry for our glasses but uh, it is too bright to even be oh, yeah. looking but oh. we are enjoying the vitamin d oh the sun feels and sweet. so come with us and uh, see custer park with us i said it i didn't say custard good job babe i kind of like custard last stand better custard but anyway come with us. nobody's here except that bee that's buzzing us oh god it's big what i don't know what that it is. will go away no it won't it will go away Die when the, that's a big bee i just bee. lost lost Rhonda. <laughs> come on Oh, wait, now he's gone. Ugh. Not a fan, not a fan. <laughs>